Hey everyone, today we are going to be making our own DIY natural rose water toner which is very beneficial for the skin. For this obviously you would be needing roses. I am going to be using 5-6 of the roses. The fresher the better. So make sure that you try to buy fresh roses from the nursery. Once you have your roses, pluck the petals off because you don't want the stem or the pollen part of it. You just want the petals like so. And make sure that you take off any uh, damaged petals from this because you want good petals. Then you want to turn on your flame and put a bowl or a pan onto it with water. I am just using tap water because we are going to distill it. For distillation you want to place in another bowl into this. I am using a glass bowl which floats into this water and doesn't settle in. And then you want to take a plate to cover this up but still leave a little bit of space for ventilation. To uh, quicken up the process of condensation and distillation I am going to use ice cubes. This would condense the water quickly which would collect into the bowl underneath. Till this process is happening I am going to take a strainer put my rose petals into it and wash them underneath water making sure that the tap water doesn't directly hit the roses and damage them so I'm going to place my hand in between to just keep the rose uh, safe the petals safe now my distillation process has occurred the water that has con condensed has collected into the bowl and we have distilled water which is ready for use to make our donor for uh, rose water toner and this is how my distilled water looks obviously it doesn't look any different because it is at the end of the day water but then you want to turn your flame on again and you want to put it on sim or low you want to take a non-stick pan sorry for the fugly condition it is in and then you want to pour in your distilled water make sure you use tongs because this is hot and you don't want to burn your hand once uh, I have my water all into the pan, I'm going to put in my rose petals. You want to make sure that the rose petals are completely soaked into the water but not flowing in it. So you don't want the water to be too much for the rose petals. You get what I'm trying to say? Just coat it with water. So you see the process, you can see on the screen, uh, visuals help more than words. Once that is done, you want to uh, just put a lid onto the pan and you want to stir it after a while so that water coats all the roses and you want to simmer it till the rose loses its color and then you want to turn off the flame and let the water cool down for a while, maybe overnight, maybe 6-7 hours, however you are comfortable. Then you want to choose a bottle, I am using a spritz bottle, you can use a normal bottle and use the toner on a cotton pad or you can choose Use an old perfume bottle but make sure you wash it completely so that the fragrance is gone. Next, I'm going to take a strainer again, my pan with the rose water and the bottle I want to transfer it into and very carefully I am going to transfer the solution or the toner into my um, container and then this is ready for use. This prevents wrinkles, it tones your skin, makes it super duper soft and obviously it is natural so it is amazing for this skin. I hope this was helpful for you guys and if you do make it don't forget to tweet or Instagram it to me. I will see you guys on Wednesday. Till then take care. Bye.